Hi guys, as usually it's me, just an off-screen voice and you are watching Review Machines. And again we have for review the newest damper. This time we have a track machine and today they are going to put it in the severest test. First of all I should say that such machines are used for transportation different cargos in the toughest conditions and off-road. As you may know, track machines are the best for off-road moving. And we wanted to test this damper on the hardest off-road. That is why we choose a swampy flute lens to test this vehicle. I think it's hardly possible to find more difficult place for any ITV. So I think it will be interesting video. Stay with us, we are to start right now. Nowadays many dampers are used for many kinds of businesses. For example, there are thousands of dampers working in farming business throughout the world. Sometimes these machines may be indispensable. If you need to transport a cargo in a tight working yard, where it's impossible to use big vehicles and where you can't use hand barrels, such dampers may be the only solution. Now you can see the main technical details of the machine. It's a track damper with a petrol engine and a mechanical transmission. Loading capacity 300 kilos. You can press pause to examine the details thoroughly and we now are moving on. The mini damper is a rather compact machine, its dimensions allow to go through the doors and easily operate in a tight space. Besides it's very maneuverable due to the tracks and skid steering. The body is made of rather thick steel. Though the loading capacity is only 300 kilos, the damper can carry much more, but about it a bit later. The engine Briggs and Stratton 160cc 6hp, I think I shouldn't tell you about this engine, it's well known heavy duty part that you can meet at many garden machines. Transmission of the damper has 3 forward gears and reverse and moreover it has a low mode, so totally we have 6 forward gears and 2 rear ones. The unloading is manual, but it doesn't take much effort. By the way, you can open all the flaps of the body. Moreover, you can unfold all the sides of the body and fix them in this position. In this way, we may get a flat platform, which is very suitable for some cargos of huge volume, like hay. So I think this damper might be used to carry all the kinds of cargoes, soil, sand, hay, stones and beams, all this stuff is not a problem for the machine. It's very easy to control the damper, start the engine, turn on a proper gear and push the clutch and the machine will start moving. If you want to turn the machine, push left or right handle to stop one of the tracks and the machine will turn. As to the speed, if you choose the first low gear, the damper will go very slowly. This mod will be suitable to move in the toughest conditions and to climb high slopes. And the highest gear provides rather decent speed. In this mod it's even hard to keep pace with the jumper. Well, I think it's high time to do some tests. Firstly we try to go down on this steep descent. It was hard even to go on foot on the slope, but to my surprise it wasn't a problem for the damper. It was moving slow and sure and after a little time it got to the bottom.
There was a gloomy swamp in the bottom and we wanted to see how the machine can handle this swamp. Any tracked vehicle is always a good ATV, so we expected this damper to do well on the swamp. And the machine really could move in these conditions without any problem. The only thing, I wish it had a seat for an operator, because it was quite unpleasant to walk in the swamp. But if it were so, it would be quite a different machine for quite a different price. Also, the damper can move on a steep grade. It seemed to me that the machine would turn upside down, but it was steadily moving along the slope. After all, I can say that the damper is very effective for moving in the toughest conditions. It didn't get stuck anywhere, so this machine is a real ATV. Now let's try to answer, who may need such kind of equipment? As I have already mentioned, this machine will be indispensable to carry different cargos in the toughest conditions, where it's impossible to use big machines and very hard to work manually. For example, the damper can do a lot of good for landscape design, when you need to transport a lot of sand and soil, but any tractor can't work there, because there are many trees on the side. Of course, you might try to use a hand barrow, but it will take huge efforts, and this damper can handle such a task without any problem. Also, it will be very useful to carry materials in a building yard, to transport some stuff in a farm, to work in a storehouse, and for many other tasks. Besides, the damper might be used not only for carrying cargoes, but for towing different objects. It has a perfect towing force, and it can even move a vehicle. So if you need to get rid of fallen trees and clean a yard, the damper will help you. Also, you might tow a trailer and carry even more cargoes. By the way, if the ground is too swampy, the trucks can slightly get stuck, but it isn't a problem at all, taking into account a skid steering. And I know for sure, if I had come there by any wheeled vehicle, I would have immediately got stuck. So again I want to say that tracked ITV is the best for hard off-road. Then we tried to make our way right through the thick bush, and the damper cut his way like a mini tank. So it's really a powerful machine, which is able to work in the toughest conditions, and it seemed to me that nothing can stop it. Well, to a reasonable level, of course. We slightly forgot about the main purpose of the machine, didn't we? Well, let's try to carry some cargo, let it be the full body of soil. But the machine didn't feel such a cargo at all, so you may be sure, it can carry much heavier load. The damper can easily was moving even in a thick bush, so if you need to carry something in such conditions, I think this machine is the best variant. Well, all the time I speak only about the advantages of the damper, and you might think that it doesn't have any drawbacks. But as you know, it doesn't work like that. There must be some drawbacks. First of all, it's Chinese production, and there might be some doubts about the quality of the metal. I should say, we didn't notice any bad things. But only after some time of practice we'll find out if it's alright with the metal. Then sometimes the machine has a very irritable noise. I think it's a trembling of some loose parts of the body. Not critical, but irritating. Then I didn't like that there is no height adjustments of the handles, so tall people might be uncomfortable when working with this damper.
and to top it all we tried to get back up to the hill with a loaded damper, but we failed. There is always some limit for any machine, and that was the limit for the damper. It didn't manage to go up to the hill with cargo. So we had to unload it, and then we tried to go up again, and this time the damper managed to do this task. Well, it's high time to sum up our review. In the long run, I like the machine. It's a very effective tool to transport any cargo in the toughest conditions. Then we have to take into account that it's not very expensive, the price is about $2000. So I think such a machine will be very useful to do numerous tasks, both for private households and for business. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to the channel, it will be many more interesting materials, goodbye.